hi everybody welcome to my channel so you guys there's a trending video of nozbele uh talking about her issues with black text you guys and it's not the first video that i see i think this is like a second video that i see and maybe another one was like a year or over a year ago which was uh talking about the same issue that her mom is very demanding she does a lot you guys she does more than a lot of us do in our own, own homes if what she the stories she tells are true okay but her mom sounds like this mom that is just never satisfied not only her mom but i think there's a niece or nephew or whatever just the whole family is always uh, demanding i think they think she's like a billionaire that is just like giving free money or something but here's the thing you guys with this one with this one video i felt different watching it because the first one i was really feeling sorry for her oh my god the situation and all of that and she just had a baby and all of that but this one i felt different okay and i will give it my different opinion on it because i know it's different than most people guys there's a time when when you're going through something ne? and you're in a situation where you are being abused and mistreated there is a time where it gets to a point where it's really now about you whatever is happening is really it has more to do with you than the person that are mistreating you okay because i feel like if you know that in your home or your mom because the person the people that we really want to take care of is our parents the others are usually extra even though we have pressure to do for others but really the person that a lot of the times that we really would love to take care of is our parents you know you know what you can give and you you will know for yourself what this is the best that i can do uh to help out here her mom also looks like you guys because there was a time when they were back at home during the holidays the house looks really nice nice furniture that mom is nice and warm she just needs food in the fridge and she's set okay so i'm sitting here feeling like okay that mom must not need a lot a month okay so i feel like now it's all nosy because her mom is who she is especially when I, you know when your mom is grown like they in their old age they're not gonna change you know who you who your mom is so if your mom is this person that just never gets satisfied you give her a thousand and she wants two thousand and she wants a thousand she wants to buy her a fridge she wants a fridge she wants a bigger fridge she wants you know your mom your mom is not gonna change okay so chances of this situation ever changing because of your mom is it's close to nine your mom is not going to change. Your mom is just always going to be demanding. And because the other members of your family live with your mom, it's unlikely that they will change because they see her just demand money from you. And every time she demands money from you, you give it. So that's, that's all they see. They see her asking for money and you give it. Whenever she wants a new washing machine, you give it. She wants a stove, you give it. So that's all that they see and they will do the same. Now, I feel like at some point, you guys, when you're in a situation like that, it's on you that it continues to happen to you. It really is on you. There is something that is making you not take the, the decision to say, listen, this is all I can do. You know, every month I'm, I'm going to give you money for groceries and this is how much I'm going to give you because now I have a family. I'm going to take care of myself. If you continue to contribute in that situation where they just demand and demand and demand and you give and give and give and give, there must be something that you're gaining from that situation that, you know, it's deeper than just what my mother is demanding. Because, guys, you can say, well, so this is all I can. Because at the end of the day, you give her a thousand rands, she's not satisfied. You give her five thousand, she's not satisfied. You give her twenty thousand, she's not satisfied. You give her whole, so whole salary, it's not satisfied. So why do you give? So why not just set it for yourself and say, I can afford to give you this. And you know what's going to happen? She's not going to be satisfied. But that is the same thing when you give more. So I just feel like, guys, like, it will have to get to a point where she, do, she does it for herself. Nobody's going to rescue Nozi from that situation. But herself, you know, nobody's going to rescue her from her, her family. You know, because what is she waiting for? For her mom to one day pass so that she can be free isn't that a horrible thing that you will only uh, be free once your mom is no longer around no that's a horrible thing you guys so i feel like nina with families it does it's on you there's part of it that is your fault that 
you just keep giving it that you you are failing to set boundaries in saying this is how much i can i don't go above this where that get, people are complaining they're talking they're calling me whatever but they know eventually they will get used to it so it's almost that three thousand that two thousand that there is it you are taking care of your family you are putting your family first okay so for me i'm like how long are we going to see her cry about this black text thing okay i would love to see her now having moved to guys listen i made i made a decision that this is what i'm doing for my family but this is a, this is the feedback i'm getting from them this is the resistance i'm getting from them but i'm not doing no more than this so for me watching that video i was like i hope she recognizes for herself that a, a lot of this has to do with her not her mom you know because her mom is who she is but she is the one that is not happy in the situation because it doesn't work for her. So then change it for yourself. I know it's not easy because it's your mom, but change it for yourself. Set the boundaries, okay? Set the limits in the amount of money you send if that's what will make your family uh, do better financially because now you're sacrificing things uh, that are supposed to be for your immediate family. For the, That doesn't even make sense, you guys. The things that we do... It doesn't even make sense so it's okay if your mom is not happy then it's okay you know you've done your best you know the fact that you can't deal with your your mom's dissatisfaction you would rather give everything you know but even when you've given everything she's still not happy so what are you gaining from it you know i i don't know mina guys i mm -mm. i feel like she needs to change it for herself her mom is old she's not gonna change this she's who she is if she wants that situation to change, to change, she'll have to change it herself to say, listen, I'm changing this. This is how much I'm giving to my family every month. That's it. I don't do uh, more than that. Okay. If I feel like I have extra, this is how much I'll do. Okay. Because now I have my own family. But she can't just be giving everything. all the Because they're always going to demand. If you, if you give, then they think you have. They're just always going to demand. It's on you to set and be like, Maybe guesses are not going to be the same because she says, we're like, hey, listen, I'm going to get the logo. Next month, I'm going to get the logo. Next month, I'm going to get the logo. You know? And now, nobody calls you to say, in the middle, like, listen, I'm going to pay things. They know. They understand it. Okay? But if they are used to you, every time they call you, deposit him out. They call you, deposit him out. You are the one that hasn't set the boundaries to be like, no. Mm-mm. -mm. When I say I don't have, I don't have. You know, nobody bothers you. You know? So, I, I don't know, guys. I do feel like she needs to change something herself for her to be happy. Because clearly she's not happy with the arrangement with her family and her taking care of everybody. But I know that it's not easy. But I do hope that she recognizes for herself that it will only change if she changes it. Because her mother's side she's not her mother is old she's not gonna change okay she's in her old age she just wants the money okay but yeah now she can change it hopefully she can change it while her mom is around and they can have a different experience with her mom okay whether her mom is going to be happy or she'll be resistant uh to it but i hope you know rather than us just seeing her it feels like with that situation she's just at the same place where she's just not happy with the situation but it doesn't feel, maybe I'm not aware, but it doesn't feel like she's making efforts to change the situation. You know, put on some boundaries, girl, and just say, listen, once I give this amount, that's it. No more. Thank you so much. Watch the video, like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> that's the thing to sub subscribe button. There's this continuous perception that we are okay we don't need anything we we fine not realizing that at that point we need so much and we need so much emotional support and every kind of support from our family but unfortunately it's not there yeah, so i'm just triggered a lot because there are pros and cons when it comes to this journey being in the spotlight being in the limelight whatever however it comes with certain perceptions that we have, for example, all the money in the world. We can afford Izindo. 
So, Nalandia, but not good, no, ten way ends in, don't you? Because I love when you're my life. Why can't you do ABC? You don't understand. Uh, actually, you are not uh, being responsible or you're not taking care of your family. You are not taking care of your mom. Uh, you are not doing one, two, three. I cannot once again begin to explain the, the sacrifices I personally done and continue to do at the expense, particularly of my mom. I get a call today. Ne? Um... I get a call today. The call is it's hey guys. Some of the challenges that I've experienced when it comes windows and the black text and stuff like that. Ne? Guys basically there's nothing hard. There's nothing hard than having to deal with a situation where you are doing everything at your disposal you are continue to do so um but struggling struggling to and for what you get the appreciation because i don't think it's about appreciation but it's being able to understand the sacrifices that we continue to make on behalf of our families on behalf of our parents and those things are not being recognized or noticed instead like literally like your physical self like basically so that i remember when i when i gave birth there was nothing difficult for me um, when I was pregnant and expecting, when I realized that we actually are alone in this journey. And it, it, guys, I'm very appreciative of our friends and, and the role that they played. But also as a first time mom, I can't do ruler of actually realizing that, oh, I'm going now that I'll be able to, to lean against in this, in this journey. So mostly I don't have a nangagi, yes, by now I'll be taken care of. But instead, we've had to navigate this journey alone. Ubaike is circumstances zinjena. I literally said even to my mom, like, you know, most of, like, there's nothing I argue with, Nai, besides money. Nothing. Or even a call, a single call that does not revolve around money. I think where I'm coming at is, please know there is no one in their right mind, no one in their right mind will not do anything for their family. To some degree, they that we do a lot for our, for our families. We sacrifice a lot for our families. We continue to do so. But to tell you that it hurts me, guys especially because there's an element of me that still seeks a validation from her particularly from her in particular so when you don't get that it hurts there's no one that can tell me that they don't seek a validation from their parent and when it doesn't come, how does that feel? Some of us that still have insecure issues, it stems from that. It stems from that. Someone said, I'm going to give you 500 rand. I'm going to give you 500 rand. I'm going to give you 500 rand. I'm going to give you and I've been on from this, and that's how I top is again. Kaka I beg up as a training to when you promise divine when you went away traveling the world. I want to mama five hundred. I call on to as I beg up. Tell me, I'm cut a little in Jimmy. Hmm, it's 
gonna be okay. Anyway, but the whole point, the whole point is, if you are in a similar situation, please know that I understand. I understand. If you're in a similar situation, please know I understand. Is that? Kunzim. It gets to the best of us, guys. I'm not gonna pretend. Did you buy? I consume my enzyme. Enzyme, my man. Enzyme. But yeah, guys, good again. We don't choose our families. We don't choose our parents. We don't choose these things. Uh, we just need to to be able to handle them. So, yeah, I guess it's also a learning thing for me. I'm trying my best. So a learning thing for me, but when I get these type of things, when I get triggered like this, um, how do I not let it get to me? Okay.